surprise surplus at the national level leads to extra vaccine at the local level. Yeah, it's a dose of good news for at least two counties in the metro. KTV News Watch Evans Delon Diller joins us live to explain who'll get those extra shots. Yeah, and Rob, that who depends on where you live. I spoke with D both Douglas and Potawatomi counties, and both of them confirmed they're getting extra doses this week. Extra vaccines are headed to Potawatomi County, and the county's planning director calls it well needed. It was hard making this transition into phase 1B on February 1st, day one, where people expected there to be vaccine available to them when that wasn't necessarily the case in our area. Matt Wyant says the state is sending out the doses to pharmacy partners in Potawatomi County. He explains the shots are left over from the national push to vaccinate long-term care residents and staff. These vaccines, I'm told, will go to residents 65 and older. While we don't know how much that's going to be, it, they described it as a significant one-time increase to vaccine in all the different areas where these pharmacies will be at. It's a similar story across the river in Douglas County, but Health Director Dr. Adi Poor plans to devote the extras to local law enforcement. Late Friday afternoon, we got the word from the state that they have some returns from big pharmacies, and therefore they had they had some more Pfizer product uh, that they were providing to us. So uh, we got we got a bump up in doses uh, last week. We're told the state of Nebraska rounded up nearly 2,000 extra doses for Douglas County, adding to the weekly allotment it's already getting. It's about 3,000 people that we would need to vaccinate. So uh, we'll see what we have uh, left over in addition to this week. So I would hope at least we'll do about 1,500 this week, especially since we had the special allotment to us. So this Thursday at 9 a.m., vaccine registration opens for residents 75 and older. That's in Douglas County and Potawatomi County. Residents are asked to contact their own pharmacy to set up an appointment. Back to you.